Vidal, who saw through the assassin. Assassin's disguise was, alas, killed as well. This is what we were told. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug courtesan do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene, like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo, make it for two. Just improvise. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Any consolation, Dawn. Your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick uh, by brick. Uh, uh, Finish. 
finish it. Yeah. <sighs>